The event is on the back of um, a project that we've been working on about looking at opportunities to make use of redundant and underused buildings in the rural Vale to create new workspaces. So we've got people that have potentially looking for uh, workspaces as well as those people with redundant or underused buildings that are looking at ideas of to how they can create new workspaces um, for new employment opportunities in the rural Vale. I come here tonight uh, being a farmer and being as it's looking at uh, regenerating disused farm buildings and for alternative uses. Uh, I think it's very important that we pursue this uh, policy because the countryside is changing. Yeah, we've had a great response uh, to the uh, call out for this event um, and we've got over uh, 70 people hopefully uh, coming along um, and hopefully it will sort of inspire enthusiasm for looking at new opportunities for creating workspace in the Vale. Well, we have lots of rural buildings but we haven't decided whether or not we want to develop them. Develop them and so this is um, a, a, an opportunity for us to, to um, see the planning, planning uh, uh, planners and see what the rules and regulations are going to be and of course the best way to develop them. We're looking to um, find new spaces where we can um, engage with the community, where we can provide business support under our contracts for free. So um, it's a really good opportunity for us to see what's out there and see how we can engage. I'm Matthew Coke and this is my partner Fiona George. And we run a business in Atlantic movie called Dixie's Vintage Ices. I thought the event was very inspirational. There was a lot of creativity, um, and it's interesting to see one of the speakers was talking about upcycling and recycling furniture, and that, that's what we did, yeah. um, because we started off in a pop-up shop, so we didn't want to invest a whole load of money in, in um, really expensive furniture. Quite a lot of people that are looking for workspaces are working at home um, and they feel it quite isolating working at home and actually they want that whole social interaction um, and a bit of a sort of a hub of, of coming to work so we're hoping that the inspiration from the speakers um, will sort of build their enthusiasm for potentially looking at co-working spaces in the rural Vale.